I love my mom very much and um, the, uh, the special thing that she did for me is when I'm sick, she, she takes off uh, from her work to, uh, to care for me and um, one time my mom was sick and so she was in the hospital but my mom still cares for me and loves me and I love my mom very much. I love my mommy forever because she cooked me my favorite food. Maggie me. I pray for my mother for everything. Uh, I, I love my mom because she brings the best in, in me and and she and she and she feeds me well and, and I love her and, and she and she hugs me and kisses me and when she when she scolds me and yells at me she will apologize. Thank God for my mom. Happy Mother's Day. I love my mom because she always does does the house chores for us and always sends us to school in the morning and makes breakfast for us. And there was once a tree jump fell on my mom's car. She helped us out of the car and called the tow truck to come to the place. And I love her since today is my mom's birthday. I wish her a happy birthday. Happy that you will run me good help and you also take care of me and I love you this big as much bigger than that I've developed a more mature relationship with my mom where she's no longer just a parent to me but she's one of my closest friends who I can talk about adulting with. Uh, 11 years after with my mom, I think we have grown to share more with each other about our lives uh, as a mature. Uh, I do enjoy some of the late night talks I have with her about what's going on with our lives. 11 years later, she still feeds me well whenever I go back home to Malaysia. I still love when she hugs and kisses me, and she still apologizes whenever she yells at me. But in addition to all of that, I definitely think that our relationship as mother and daughter has grown a lot throughout the years. It's amazing to see how much I've grown, how much more I appreciate what my mom has done to raise me. My mom still remains the role model I aspire to be for my younger loved ones. Um, she never fails to amaze me with every single day with her unconditional and generous love for her family. Um, and most importantly, her love for God, which has also encouraged me and influenced me to build a stronger relationship with Him. And I'm incredibly grateful to have that bond with her. I like to go on cafe hopping dates with my mom because it provides us an opportunity to connect and bond with each other as well as catch up despite our busy schedule and busy life. I enjoy watching movies or TV shows together. Uh, yeah, my mom's really busy all the time and the most time we spend together are on uh, weekend nights. So we watch movie and Traveling the world and exploring and learning about different cultures with my mom has always been my favourite thing to do with her since I was young. So I like to talk with my mom about music. So for example, after Sunday service, we like to talk about the positive or the feedback from the worship session. It's probably when we decide to roam around KL and go on spontaneous um, cafe dates. More importantly, these dates have allowed my mom and I to bond, whether it be a session of chit chat or just quietly sharing a large fries with chocolate sundae ice cream at McDonald's and enjoying each other's company. When I took my IGCSEs, I actually did quite badly and I was expecting my mom to be disappointed in me but instead she told me that she's proud of me and that she'll love and support me no matter what and that truth has stuck with me since then throughout my life as a teenager as well as an adult. 
And my mom always says the same thing, uh, taste your food before serving others. And so that's what I do when I cook for others. And also my dad, uh, cooking has gotten better. So I don't really hear that nowadays. I'll always have your back and I love you so much. Do you know that? So my mom has told me as the eldest of the family, I have to be the man of the house sometimes. And this realized that I have the responsibility to take care of my family as the eldest. It's, it's okay as long as you did your best. Personally, being expressive and knowing how to accurately communicate my emotion and thoughts have always been a challenge. Um, so I think this quote in particular has always struck me the hardest because it provided me the re reassurance and comfort I needed during the challenging times. She will honestly be superwoman. She has a full-time job, two ministries, and on top of that, she takes care of our family very well. And she never makes me feel like I'm a last resort. So I think she'll definitely be superwoman. Uh, she reminds me of Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast because uh, Mrs. Potts is always looking after the little teacup guy, Chips. Rafiki from The Lion King, which I know is a weird choice, but it's because whenever Simba is indecisive and conflicted with what he wants to do with life, Rafiki appears to basically guide him in the right direction. And in this case, I am Simba. So my mom resembles uh, Rosita from the movie Sing because in the movie, uh, Rosita is a mom who puts herself first before her family and she always gets up early to prepare breakfast and prepare for kids to go to school. Definitely Elastic Girl from The Incredibles. She even looks like her. <laughs> she's strong-willed, she's independent, and most importantly has a selfless desire to help others uh, just like all superheroes do. I believe those are the three main qualities that greatly aspire me to be like her. The greatest lesson my mom has ever taught me was to be generous with my time, with my love and with my money and I think uh, I've seen how many people she's helped by her generosity and it inspires me to do the same. I remember one in particular being uh, always manage your money. She has taught me where to put my money, how to spend my money, how much I should spend, how much I should save. Yeah. So I think it's a really important lesson. She's encouraged me to participate in a lot of activities and leadership roles, which have definitely molded me into the person that I am today. Like whether it be from school, church, music, sports, dance, the greatest lesson my mom has taught me is to not judge others or criticize others before we understand their situation. So we have to always put ourselves in others' shoes. Uh, to be a bit more, to be more appreciative, appreciative of the things in life. Um, the simple things become special when we do them together. So it's either having a simple home cooked meal with the family, or just helping one another with small household chores can really light up someone's day. We are both quite similar of needing to be on time and needing to be clean and we are also quite similar in other terms of having such a busy schedule but we still find time to be with each other and talk to each other which I think is a great similarity. Uh, me and my mom are quite different. She is more action and fast paced while I am more slow and laid back but of course this personality can differ when we are driving. I like to think that I have inherited a lot of her good traits like her quick-witted way with words, her passion for God and her pretty face. She's more of an extrovert and I'm an introvert, um, but I think we complement each other's qualities. Um, as for me, I think her extroverted side has always encouraged me to come out of my comfort zone and try to be more sociable and participative in any social setting.
my happiest memory with my mom is when we would go window shopping together especially on Christmas so we would see the city all covered in Christmas lights and just be able to spend time with each other but when she bought me my first guitar uh, it was a very happy memory for me and I will forever remember it my happiest memory with my mom is probably the car rides where she has a spontaneous she has her spontaneous career case about literally the most random topics. <laughs> the happiest memory I have with my mom is when we go on holiday and I see her enjoying herself throughout the holiday. When I recently went through one of the most heartaching experiences and I my mom was the main person that I went to for consolation and she was there for me from start to finish and I think I just cherished a lot of that time with her. Strong, kind and prayerful. Uh, three words that describe my mom, loving, mindful and protective. Diligent, easygoing and straightforward. Uh, empathetic, hardworking and committed. Perceptive, diligent, and comfort. Mommy, thank you for always being there for me. You've seen me grow from a young kid to an adult, and my life would never be the same without you. I'm truly thankful for you, and I love you very much. Uh, I just want to say, uh, Mom, thank you for the 18 years of my life. I just want to say that I really appreciate you and will love you forever. Hi mom, thank you for being the best mom that you could possibly be and for always putting me and Kokos first. I read somewhere before that parents are, we tend to forget that parents are going through life for the first time as well, like us. And I try to always keep that in mind whenever I get upset at you. I think that you are the blueprint of what a mom should be. I love you so much and happy Mother's Day. Uh, thank you, Mum, for what you have done for me, and God bless you and happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Mom, for all your nagging and for constantly looking out for me. No matter what, um, I could have never asked for a better mom. I promise I'll continue to work hard and make you and our family proud. And to all the other mothers out there, happy Mother's Day! Hope you all have a great day.